I think that's as quiet. Info Cafe, where multiple intelligences meet each day, each day. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, I swept the deep beat up. Here we go. Da -de -de, a song on the guitar. <laughs> La la la, thanks for being here. We will not stray from your command. We will not stray from your command. Daughters and see, turn your ears to me and listen. Now the time of the Lord has near, for the path God level and clear. All glorious are the Lord's children. God's loving hand. We will not stray from your command. We will not stray from your command. He is brought in with gladness and joy. As he enters through the Lord, all glorious are the Lord's children, marching by God's loving hand. We will not stray from your command. We will not stray from your command. Okay, my voice is not in great shape, but I did write that song, We Will Not Stray, um, and it's got a good uh, harmony orchestra part, good for a choir, maybe I'll see about, video on Itchy Beard, so the Good Info Cafe, the Good Info Cafe, where good reliable info is your food, so thoughts for food. Uh, multiple intelligences I'm going to talk about, and then miscellaneous, Balkan 1 um, was in my no notifications and, and had a very inspirational comment, but it doesn't let me reply. So Balkan 1, thank you for your comment, and maybe make another one so I can then reply, because somehow it was in notifications, and when I went to um, reply in the comments, it disappeared. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. QOD, question of the day, why do people comment? Oh, yeah. So where there are places for comments, so often people comment where they really should just be changing the channel. You don't like the channel. You don't like what's going on. Go somewhere else. So why do you stop and comment? Now, there are those who are invested in the channel and make suggestions or point things out. Um, and that's because because uh, that's contributing, but there are plenty who are mean spirited who just say this sucks or you suck. Okay, that says more about you than about what you're trying to say. Um, it exposes their ignorance. So I guess it's not the QOD, or I might I still going to say it. Why do people comment in the comments on YouTube or on an article they read? Anything that's the comments um, when they can just change the channel 
and go somewhere else and they don't need to say anything that's um it's all right if it's negative but in the mean-spirited it's not and then my grade is mean-spirited comments gets an f they might even be down here because just change the channel but they want attention on themselves they want to harm others when they do that because if it's a constructive criticism it would be said differently so the ones who do mean-spirited comments they get they get a zero, so that's a very low F. F is in the middle, 59% is an F. They get way down there because they're wasting their own time and other time. This cathartic thing is not always uh, applicable to just vomiting your, your thoughts without um, thinking before you speak. There's definitely some biblical sayings about thinking before you speak. I can't remember exactly what it is. Um, so, um, but, but also, I forgot um, uh, food, because I'm going to be talking about that. So, I'll make it a drink today. There we go. So, um, some iced tea. <coughs> Still a little bit of the bron bron bronchitis. Yeah, bronchitis. So, there we go. We got my Bubba cup. Because it fits in the car, and it, I don't have to keep filling it, so it's like a thermos, but it fits. So, green tea, maybe a little too much sugar in it, but listen to it. Mmm. Mmm, that's delicious. So, what that brings up is, we really need to develop all five senses. This is... Um, mostly visual and auditory can it be no it's not anything else except for um, connecting with the senses that you can when I show food I guess or liquids uh, nutritious liquids you can um, uh, it, it sometimes will stimulate your 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 olfactory your s smell sense and your taste and the touch I mean maybe that does some touch touch feel because chefs are smell and taste intelligent so that got me thinking about making a, a revision on multiple intelligences because these are here we go these are um, mostly visual auditory right well verbal linguistic verbal linguistic would that have anything to do with touch smell and taste it's really a thinking mind thing I, i'm thinking this through while i just i didn't think this ahead of time so you see this process we're in the creative process the developing process the beta process logical mathematical you know what with taste that is mathematical isn't it um, smells mathematical. I guess all our senses have some math involved, algorithms, and the logic. Okay. Visual spatial is visually. <laughs> uh, the spatial part could be a little bit of the uh, awareness or the touch awareness around you. Bodily kinesthetic, smell, taste, touch, definitely a lot of touch, kinesthetic. So that's got the touch sense. Musical rhythmic, not much smell. Or taste going on there but definitely touch and and uh, can be visual and can be um, auditory and, and then auditory is number one there interpersonal um, inside your no self-awareness intra so inter inter between other people yeah sure smell yep oh yeah all of them intrapersonal not as much of smell yeah, taste, because that's your, yeah, that's all of them. Okay. Naturalistic, all of them. All of your senses. And then ethical, moral, um, that's more of the thinking, intellectual side. But it's feel and feelings, too. Okay. So maybe I don't have to revamp it as much as I thought, because I wanted to include all the five, conclude, con include, <laughs> conclude, include the five senses, very important. And that's why 
we need to get outside more, interact with people alive in person more. Um, so that's huge in terms of trying to whoops, trying to improve the world. Um, and maybe I'm saying that as my mission statement, vision statement. So I have, that just reminds me I have to develop my mission statement and vision statement um, for the launch and vision statement. So thank you for you all being part of uh, developing this because it's really helped. Um, and incredible comments by everybody. I mean, in, in, in Sean's comments, they're so thoughtful and, and but you could have great thoughtful comments but not be thoughts, comments, but not be a good writer. So you could be a good writer and have kind of goofy thoughts or, or always be referring to somebody else. But to be able to write like Sean does and have the, that kind of thought process where you can recognize a thought process and how Sean got to where they were thinking, pretty amazing. Um, so I now have my Bible with me, which is this is the Old Testament and the New Testament. <laughs> Um, so kind of hard to read. I'm getting glasses, so you'll probably be seeing me with glasses. And my, um, this is in Book of Revelations, in honor of Jenny, and to continue our discussions. So thank you once again. Did I get everything? I, the mean-spirited comments are a zero because move on. We don't need your dirty laundry. We don't need your crap. We don't need your personal problems in that way. If you want to reach out, then absolutely everyone will jump in to help if you're reaching out. So um, the question of the day, why do people comment um, when they don't like something instead of changing the channel? But there are some reasons when you're really appealing to the, the person who runs the channel and say, hey, have you thought of this? We can tell the difference. Um, and Balkan 1, B-A-L-K-A-N 1, if it has to do with the Balkans, I was in Biatch, Bosnia, giving a talk on information literacy two and a half years ago. Multiple intelligences, five senses. Um, always be ready to join me because we're at the Good Info Cafe. We need to have some sustenance, some nutrition. And um, there you have it. Tune to A432. It just is so natural sounding. I can absolutely tell the difference. And it stays in tune better. The other is 440 is more strident. And um, I uh, would love others to test that. Tune, you get a frequency on an app that you can just put in 432. It will give you that frequency. Tune your A to 432. Because here's an A on here. Maybe you can hear the difference. a little sharper and a little more strident and it was changed from I've read it was changed in 1939 made more universal because orchestras would do that and then others followed along in the recording studio and stuff so maybe look for recordings before 1939 I just thought of that um, but it doesn't mean they weren't a, a440 a432 there was even a below a432 that I think Mozart might have used it went all over the place. We did get more standardized as communication became more universal, which also is related to the second coming of Jesus. How communication, how all would be able to see him coming in the clouds. Interesting. <clears throat> we will not stray from your command. We will not stray from your command. Sanctified for heaven. 